Hello, and welcome to the Balance Build podcast, where we talk about fitness, mindset, habit creation, etc., in a chill way. My name is Lizzie. Nice to meet you. Today's topic is comparing yourself to a past version of yourself. And this came up because it just happened to me the other day. <laughs> and this episode isn't specifically about injury, but real quick, just a quick recap about me for context. Two and a half years ago, there was an accident. I sustained many injuries, but the two biggest were a broken left hip that required surgical pinning. And last year, they confirmed that I have a bulge in my spine that pinches a nerve. And I'm mentioning this because this whole time, since the accident, I've really given my body the grace to just heal and adjust, especially since treatments and bouts of physical therapy have been ongoing. However, <laughs> the other day, I had a past self-comparison moment for the first time since the accident. I want to say it was about um, a year and a half ago that I decided, decided to start working towards getting my first pull-up. I was making quite a bit of progress, but then several months ago, I was sent to the spine specialist. And, you know, testing began, which it, it was a lot. It was a lot. So I set that training aside until all of that settled down. But now that I'm done with physical therapy and I'm all cleared, I decided to pick it back up. However, I kept finding myself avoiding it, just putting it off. So I took a beat to think about what was stopping me. And then I realized that for the first time since the accident, I was now comparing myself to a previous version, my last year self. So it's so funny, like comparing yourself to others sucks. But when it's comparing yourself to a past version of you, that stings in a very specific way when it comes to fitness or, or just our bodies in general. Like, pick a flavor. It can almost feel like you're offended that your body didn't retain the strength or progress you had where you left off or regret, shame, guilt that you stopped to begin with. Or even the whole, the quote, getting what you deserve kind of trash, you know? And if you feel like any of these things, you're not alone and this happens to most people, you know? <laughs> but this in particular, it made me think of all the times that I've done this throughout my life. Whenever I've needed to take breaks, you know, avoided exercise or starting a program because I just didn't want to know. I didn't want to feel a type of way about myself. I didn't want to feel weak. I didn't want to feel bad about what I had quote unquote lost. But that's all just another form of, of unfair comparison, you know? I'd also, like, I'd also like to mention that brains are real assholes sometimes. Like, why is my brain beating me up with these thoughts instead of just going with it? and with something that will benefit our health. Examining our thoughts is actually pretty powerful. Like really look at what's coming up so we can find other counter thoughts that are actually supportive and help us keep going and practice them often so that over time we can drown out the thoughts that are in no way useful and just serve to drag us down. And we're holding ourselves back with our essentially stories our brain is making up. I mean, how many times do we second guess ourselves or simple things, you know, or not acted on something because we got a little nervous, you know, our thoughts questioned it. It's the same type of thing. We have to decide on purpose to override those trash thoughts, you know, starting, practicing, and implementing a positive mind shift or reframing of how you see yourself in your fitness. And just a reminder, meeting yourself where you're at is both a positive thought and action. You know, it gives you the space to explore what you need, what to adjust if your body isn't quite ready for a certain exercise or activity yet or again. But regardless of how long of a fitness break, in, break you've taken, it doesn't matter. 
And we can focus on what we can do today that supports us now and our goals for the future. You know, just try to be kind to yourself. Get started. Don't judge it. You know, regardless of how you need to modify right now or how small your session may seem to you because you are comparing it from, to before, just try to find that gratitude for whatever movement or exercise is available right now and get excited about what may be possible as you go along. Let yourself find out and trust, embrace the process. You know, and this, <laughs> this is probably a really strange thing to bring up, but we're just gonna roll with it real quick. <laughs> so I need new glasses. My vision is waning. Guys, it's heading south. <laughs> it's, it's frustrating, but that's just the way it goes. I'm not going to sit here being pissed off at my eyeballs for aging or just doing a thing that happens. I'm going to go to the eye doctor actually tomorrow for the prescription I need. I'm going to order some cute glasses and I'm going to carry on. And it's the same with fitness. You know, I'm going to work to not be pissed off at myself or my body for a thing that happens. You know, I'm not going to start, I'm going to start bar work that's appropriate for my current level keep showing up and find some compassion for life happening and a body that's doing its best. Anyway, I did, I did suck it up. I got on the bar the other day and you know, just did the damn thing. It was really hard. <laughs> it was, it was actually kind of surprising just how hard it was, but uh, I, so I, well, I'm definitely taking it down several notches going forward you know, to let my body get used to doing that motion and activity again. But I'm also deciding on purpose that it isn't a big deal. Again, I'm just meeting myself where I'm at, allowing my body the time and the space to relearn it, figure it out, and get that strength back. I'm ultimately working to take away the negative pressure of past me comparison and instead opening up to what could be possible when I don't punch myself in the face for taking that break or for where I'm at now. So I'll just wrap it up by saying that I hope whatever you are working on or struggling with, you just try to combine compassion with action and just do the damn thing. All right. Thank you so much for listening. You can find me on Instagram at The Balance Build. My website is thebalancebuild.offeringtree.com. I'm adding things and building it out, but you know, it's all one step at a time. You're also invited to join the free Balance Build Facebook group. It's an inclusive place for you to share wins, struggles, questions, accountability, and above all, support. If you can't find the group when you search, the link is in the show notes. Please join us and I'll see you there. Take care and happy training.